Welcome, everyone. Game one of the 1992 NBA Finals just ahead, and it should be a great one. The Bulls and Blazers both needing six games to advance to this final stage, and they look to be ready to go. With me, Clark Kellogg, on the sideline, Doris Burke. Clark, let's talk about the matchup. What do you think? Well, Kevin, we can talk all day long about the team matchups, but you and I both know what everybody wants to see is Jordan versus Drexler. These two guards have absolutely been on fire all season long and are really taking the shooting guard position to unseen heights. Clark, both these players just phenomenal finishers at the rim. We can expect to see a, a multitude of high-flying highlights. By the time this series comes to a close. Kevin, that is a given. Fans have been wondering who's best all season with Jordan and Drexler. And this series should provide plenty of fodder for that heated debate. Game one should be an excellent peek at what should be a fantastic NBA final. Now let's check in with the third member of our crew, Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kevin, Michael Jordan took a knock on his wrist in game six against Cleveland, and it bothered his shooting to close that game out. I asked him how it was holding up, and he told me he tested it in the weight room this morning and was able to pick up 265 pounds with it. That's right, 265 pounds. Looks like the wrist isn't going to be an issue with him. All right, Doris, thank you. As always, 265 pounds with a hurt wrist. <laughs> I'm not sure I can do half that with a healthy wrist or yeah, two wrists. I'm right with you, Kevin. I mean, that's amazing to be able to have that kind of strength and not be 100% when you're talking about lifting weight with a bad wrist. Come on, that's crazy. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Jerome Kersey out there with Buck Williams. Then there's Porter, and it's Drexler and Robinson. Clark, both of these teams needed six games in the conference finals to close out the series. Will we see some fatigue, you think, in this one? Perhaps a touch, but I don't think too much, Kevin. I mean, the teams have played a lot of games when you look at... <laughs> wow! What about the setup? I mean, there are assists, and then there are delicious dimes. <laughs> well, putting it up there soft and throwing it down hard. Back to Grant. Outside Jordan. Releases from 15. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Chicago on D. Pass to Williams. Robinson kicks to Porter. On the wing, Drexler. Here is Kersey. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocked loose. He got caught napping. You've got to pay attention and protect the ball. And here's Jordan outside. And again, Chicago, no good. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Trexler missing on defense. Portland. Jordan pulls. Jordan with the bucket. This is what happens when the defense lags. Wrong guy to give an opening to. Now Porter. And here's Kersey. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams, a screen on Pex. Two seconds left. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got his first bucket in this one. Jordan's up. And it's Jordan with the jam. Does he make it look easy or what, partner? Trust me. That's not easy. Oh, I know it. I think he could climb over the backboard if he wanted to. Portland leading. Here is Porter. Robinson working against Cartwright. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got his second bucket of the game to go. And so here is Chicago. Trailing by four. And here's Jordan outside. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Here's Drexler. That one is good on the way in. So for Portland Clark, how different will this matchup against the Bulls be for them? I think it's going to be a whole nother world, Kevin. I mean, quite honestly, they're going to have to be much more careful with the ball. They've got to take care of it. They've got to squeeze the orange, and they're much better than they have in their other playoff series because the Bulls capitalize on turnover. 
And here's Kersey. He dishes it. Drexler right side. Over Jordan. It's blocked. And he gets the bucket. Foul is called. One free throw for him. They're really giving them all they can handle here. The defense is having a hard time keeping up. Nice job at the line. That one falls to pick up the end one. Here's Jordan. He has six. Behind the arc. That doesn't go either for Jordan. He's jacked up a number of threes, but his accuracy has been lacking. Time to try something different, if you ask me. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Let's put the ball in his hands, Kevin, and watch him go to work. He's going to make something good happen. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Danny Ainge has checked in for Portland. Here's Ainge. Under four minutes left in the first. Now Kersey. Ainge with the ball. Drexler with a screen on Pippen. Kersey blocked. Bulls trail by four. It's Jordan on the win. Ainge covering. Jordan with the bucket. He's really come out this quarter saying, give me the ball. I'm taking over. I'm demanding the ball. And you know what? He's delivered a tremendous performance this quarter. It's blocked. So far in this quarter, he's having a hard time getting it done. The tray. The shot misses. And the Blazers the other way. Jordan with a big game against Cleveland to finish him out last time he played. Yeah, just a Cavaliers killer. Really just dominated the action out there. Here's Drexler. Drexler with another miss. Here comes B.J. Armstrong. No points for him. And Jordan good for three. He's shooting 25% from downtown. Clark back to Jordan's game six against the Cavs. It's the kind of performance we're starting to expect from him now in these playoff games. Well, he raises his level, Kevin. You can see it. I mean, last year when he won his first NBA championship, he raised the level of his play to the occasion. And he's doing the same thing here now. He's got a greatness to him that is special. And Jordan really looks locked in. That's already his third three of the half. That ties the finals record. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Here's Robinson. He has seven. Drexler passes to Robinson. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Hey, guys, there was a bit of verbal gamesmanship by Phil Jackson prior to these finals. He was quoted as saying the Blazers have a tendency to self-destruct in close games. I asked Blazers coach Rick Adelman about his thoughts on this statement, and he said, hey, it doesn't hold water. This team will do their talking on the floor. Let's see how they respond, guys. Thank you, Doris. Coach Jackson Clark doing his best to get in the heads of the Blazers there. Well, nothing surprising about that, Kevin. We know Phil Jackson likes to do that. And if this game comes down to the wire, you'd have to think that that'll be in the Blazers' minds a little bit. It'll get, it'll get into their heads some. But the key is, how do they respond? That's, a, that's the real deal. And on the trail, Blazers making a change. Drexler guarded by Pippen. Clock is at three to end the drought. And that one's good by Drexler. Drexler's got six points. Here's Jordan. He's got 20. For three, it's good from beyond the arc. And there it is, Clark. A new record for threes and a half as Jordan sinks number five. Well, he's come out and sent a big-time message for these finals. Portland is in big trouble this series, especially if Jordan's going to play at this level. Mark, one thing we might see Portland do is try to curtail what the Bulls are trying to do, and that is you know, open up the floor for Scottie Pippen. I think that's a good strategy, Kevin. Try to jam him up because he's terrific once he gets ahead of steam and he's got options in the open court. So try to jam him early and make him walk the ball up the floor if you can. 
First one falls for him. And the Bulls making a change here. That one misses. There's another example, Kevin, of how they're hustling to all the missed shots to get an edge in the rebounding area. The shot's good for Maine. And it's that hustle, Clark, that translates into more opportunities and getting going fast here. Yep, exactly right. They're really going after it to start this game. A nice, good start for him. When he gets it going like this, you've got a double team. That's your only hope. Here's Porter. He dumps it off. Throws it up. The shot's good for Maine. Inside, outside, Kevin. I love it. He drew the D in and then kicked it out to the open man. Ainge against Jordan. And it's Chicago scoring again. Boy, this is fun to watch. This guy is putting on a show right now. He's making it look really easy. Now Porter. Not on the scoreboard yet. Fires top of the key. It's two on one. Drexler with the steal. That will count. First quarter over, and big numbers up on the board. Bulls lead by nine. Well, Kevin, they've been filling it up from long range. Those three-pointers add up quickly. The NBA, here on 2K Sports. And the second quarter about to get underway. Here's Jordan. Nine point game. Well, Clark, this is what the basketball. It's money from deep. <laughs> Did you see that, Clark? <laughs> Jordan with a shrug after that last shot. I don't think he can believe it himself. No, he can't. He's actually surprised. And yet, going in the flow and is in a tremendous rhythm. I mean, he's on a tear, Kevin. All the Bulls need to do is give him the ball and get out of the way. Jordan has tied the NBA Finals record for made threes in what has been a wonderful display of his shooting from outside. Turnover by the Bulls. That was an ugly possession. They were out of sync completely, and the ball just sailed out of bounds. Got a piece of it. Here's Robinson. He's got seven. And here's Porter. Kersey with the ball. Dumps it off. Here's Williams. Great finish in traffic. Williams has got his second bucket. The Bulls leading by eight. Michael to shoot. Sinks it. Jordan has tied the NBA Finals record of 33 points and a half. Amazing. Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucket. Chicago with the ball. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. From deep, Jordan buries it. That puts him over the record. Michael Jordan has just set a new mark for points and a half in an NBA final. Here's Ainge. Kept alive. And it's Williams finishing it off. He is so tenacious on the board. How many times have we seen putbacks like that from him? He can clear out the paint like very few others can. You know what you might call him, Kevin? A rebounding virtuoso. Yeah, I like that. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Nobody stopped the ball. The D made that much too easy for him. Here's Ainge. He has six. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. So both teams changing it up here.
Here's Robinson. He has seven on the line. Shots good by Drexler. Drexler's got eight points. Clark, you look at Jordan and Drexler, and these two players are just so similar. Yeah, they are. They're versatile. They're strong. They're athletic. They're competitive. They're just very difficult to defend because they can finish like very few players can in the league. They play above the rim, but they also are pretty reliable jump shooters, too. Here's Cartwright. Backing down is Jordan. And Robinson comes to help. Drexler is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul. Here's Jordan. He has 38 in the game. Fades back. Robinson pulls it in. I think the defense was crowding him a little bit, threw him off some, so he had to fade just to get room to shoot and then couldn't adjust. Kevin, that's the kind of shot you want. You can't ask for better execution on offense, but sometimes they just don't fall. You should leave those long bomb passes alone. Here's Jordan with another bucket here. He'll crack 40. Jacks up the triple, and the Bulls with another miss. Trailblazers trail by seven. Porter with it. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Let's go with a three, and that one's good. He can be dangerous from out there. As a matter of fact, he can be lethal. His first from the arc after having none in the first quarter. Keep an eye on him. Here's Cartwright. Outside Jordan. Can they get oh! Michael Jordan already in the record books with the most threes in a game. He's really putting on a show to end all talk of comparing Drexel and Clark himself. Well, this is a performance of for the ages, Kevin. I mean, we posed the question of who was the best, but Jordan came out and answered it with his play. Absolutely fantastic. Maxson against Porter. Williams against Grant. Let's it go. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. Well, they're down right now in the game here, but they've been doing a really good job of getting open and knocking down their shots. And that's a big improvement over how they came out of the gate. Michael is on another planet right now. He has eight. Yes, count them. Eight made threes. Unbelievable. Clark, Michael Jordan will be asked to do a lot more defensively in this series. Would you agree? Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, matching up against Drexler, that's some heavy lifting. He's going to have to be completely focused on denying Drexler his sweet spots on the floor. It'll be interesting to see how that affects Jordan offensively. Here's Jordan. 43 points in the game. Drexler left side. Chicago making some changes. Will Purdue's check in for Cartwright. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for John Paxson. Portland also making some changes. Ainge has checked in. Here's Jordan. From the stripe, good as the jump shot falls. Jordan's got 45 points. They don't seem to have many answers for him in this game. He's doing a terrific job out there. Outstanding work. Ames the pass to Robinson. Takes it up. Nails it from close range. You can't allow him to establish deep position like that. Once he gets it in that close, he's almost unstoppable. And again, it's Michael Jordan. And the Bulls lead by seven. Here is Porter. 2.28 left in the half. On the wing, Ainge. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That one on Pippen. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Jordan. Non-stop scoring machine here. From the wing, another one falls for Chicago. He's really one of the big reasons why they have the lead now. He's playing an extremely efficient game. It's fun to watch. 
Armstrong against Porter. From deep. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Nothing's working for him here. He's just really struggling to find the basket. Jordan continues to be lights out from deep. He shattered the finals record and keeps adding on. Scotty Clark in that game six mm -hmm. against the Cavs. Man, was he all over the place. A stat sheet suffer. I mean, effective on the glass. He could have actually not scored and still been one of the more impactful players out on the court. Outside for Jordan. The steal. The defense anticipated the kick out the whole time. And that one's good by Porter. He's been extremely active out there. And he has the stats to prove it. Terrific hustle. Back to Scotty Clark, his ability to affect the game without scoring is phenomenal. Well, again, he rebounds, he creates, he plays lockdown defense on multiple players. He's a huge part of what the Bulls are as a team. I mean, he would probably be, MJ is clearly the most valuable player, but Scotty is probably their most instrumental and most indispensable player when you look at it. Because they're behind, they feel a little pressure to start jacking up three-point shots, and it's led to more attempts from behind the arc. Jordan against Ames. Deflects the pass. He knew exactly where the ball was going and got a hand on it. Here's Porter. Jordan knocks it away. Clock management. This is where they can get a two for one. A three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. He's been stroking it from long range all game long. Actually, most of his points have come from beyond the arc. Robinson against Purdue. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got 11 points. When you get a hot hand like him, it's real simple. You need to keep going with him. Jordan. And that's not going to fall for him. And so we wrap up the first half. Jordan having a terrific game. He has an unbelievable amount of points, and he's buried a ton of three-pointers in this game, too. He looks like a man among boys right now. It's the Bulls leading by seven. Interesting fact here with this Drexler Jordan matchup, Clark. These two <laughs> could have been teammates. Well, how scary would that have been? Not realistic because they play both, they both play the same position. Portland had the number two pick in 84 and passed on Jordan, who went to the Bulls at number three. Okay, but just imagine putting Jordan and Drexler on the wings of this Portland team. That would be a nightmare, but it's kind of a fantasy island nightmare, if you will. Checking out the group for Rick Edelman to start this second half. Drexler out there with Porter. Then there's Jerome Kersey. And there's Buck Williams. Three on the clock. Jordan. And that's good for two. Jordan's got 60. Well, we heard all the talk coming in about Michael showing that this is what he is all about. Well, it's like he took the talk personally, Kevin, and is looking to let everybody know that only one can be the best. And that one is Michael Jordan. Despite that turnover, they've been spectacular protecting the ball, but they need to improve in other areas if they're going to pull this one out. Guarded by Porter. Baseline jumper, Michael Jordan again. And the Bulls lead by 11. He's done an outstanding job all game long. Absolutely a great job of finding an opening against the defense. Clyde Drexler on the way. Guarded by Jordan. Here's Robinson. Nails the turnaround jumper. Robinson's got 13. Right now, he's just too good, Kevin. Way too good. They need to bring a second defender and try to make him give up the ball. Jordan takes off and almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. Jordan with a good game. He has an enormous amount of points, and he's unleashed a barrage of three-pointers on him. He's just been everywhere. Two 
And the first one at the line is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here is Porter. He's got seven. Jordan against Drexler. With the fadeaway. Drexler with another miss. One thing with these matchups, Clark, you know, you look at how Terry Porter has fared against the Bulls. Not a good sign for the Blazers. Well, you know what? The size of the perimeter defenders for Chicago, Pippen and Jordan in particular, can make it tough for other two guards. And I think that's what you've seen in the Terry Porter shooting percentage, right around 31% against um, the Bulls during the regular season. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Here's Robinson. He's got 13. Drexler kicks to Porter, takes a three, and again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. That's a good job going right back at him with the three of their own. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. A shot by Jordan, no good. Porter with it. He's got 10. He's picked up by Pippen. Here's Drexler. And laid up and in. Drexler's got 12 points in the game. Boy, you got to love the way he gets himself to the rack. He knows how to keep the ball away from the defenders and lay it in. And they double up Jordan. Pass to Pippen. Outside Jordan. Michael Jordan shakes the building as he skies for the slam. Oh, man. Now that's nasty. With the Bulls, one thing they know they can go to on offense, Clark, is Jordan in the post. You know what? They really didn't use it all that much during the regular season, Kevin. But in these playoffs, it's been a different story. More and more, they're setting up Jordan on the block, and he's handling his business. Kersey, good. Here's Jordan. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. The baseline, Jay, and it's Chicago scoring again. He's put the team on his shoulders and really carried them offensively. An amazing performance by that man. Back to Robinson. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. He's leaving scorch marks all over the court. He's hitting everything. Here's Jordan. Oh! And he dunks it down with one hand. That's just poor defense, Kevin. Somebody's got to get back and defend the basket. Instead, they give up a rack-to-rack -rack finish. Here is Porter. Ten points for him. Stolen by Pippen. And here are the Bulls now. They lead by 11. Michael Jordan on the wing, guarded by Porter. Jordan hangs. Michael Jordan again. And the Bulls lead by 13. Right now, their offense is playing through him, actually going through him just about every time. And he's answered the call with tremendous play. Porter against Paxson. Here's Robinson. Rebound, Grant. And here are the Bulls now. It's a 13-point game. Drexler against Jordan. Left side, Jordan. Fades away again, Chicago. That's exactly where the coach wants him to get his shot, Kevin. Right there from mid-range. Now here's Drexler. He's got 12. From 17 feet out, Portland again missing. He's been AWOL this quarter. And his team is down in the need of some scoring from him. He hasn't shown up. Now Cartwright. And here. Oh! 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 oh, man. Now that's nasty. And 
as much as we hear about the Bulls wanting to run, not everyone sees it that way. What do you think, Clark? Yeah, you know what? I think it's a game that the Bulls want to play fast. But John Paxson, who's out there between the lines, told both of us that the Bulls will have to be selective when they run. They can't just go full throttle ahead every time they get the ball. They'll pick and choose their spots to exploit in transition. Guarded by Robinson. Jordan against Rex. Oh, he's bumped by the D and he'll go to the line. The first one falls. And the Bulls making a change here. Danny Ainge has checked in for Portland. So after making the first, he goes one for two. They have a lot of ground to make up here. They're struggling. Nothing seems to be working for him right now. Got the bucket and the foul. Potential three-point play now, Kevin. He earned that one. Look at what Drexler has done so far. He's got 14 points, and his two steals round out those numbers nicely. What energy he's shown today, whether it's on the offensive end or on deep. He's unable to convert here on the three-point play. Well, oh, he's had a tough time shooting the ball today. His percentage has been way down compared to what he normally does. I think that's a big reason that they're down. Back and down is Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. Drexler with the steal. Well, they still have the lead, but they really need to collect themselves and start taking care of the ball. It's Jordan on the wing. Buck Williams with the rebound. So it's Portland now. Earlier they trailed by 17. Here's Robinson. Sinks it from the top of the key. Robinson's got 17. Here comes MJ. Mark the Bulls, one of the most unselfish teams in the league. I mean, maybe ever. Yeah, they make the extra pass, Kevin. When you're winning championships or in the position to win a championship, it's a team effort. You have to have great players, but they have to be willing to share the ball, and the Bulls do that. They make the extra pass. Percy. Tipped. Well, he's having some trouble with the ball right now after a pretty clean and sharp first half where he coughed it up just once, Kevin. Outside Jordan. Let's it go from the wing. Clyde Drexler grabs the miss. The Blazers on offense. Down by 12. Beyond the arc. It's off. We played through three in the double-digit game going on here. Jordan having a terrific game. He has an amazing total of points and just an amazing performance from downtown. Boy, he was locked in in that third quarter. And we'll get back to the action right after this. Here is Porter. So with Pippen sitting on the bench, this is Phil Jackson. And finished off by Drexler. Just toss it up there and let your teammate take care of his business. Clark, really, is there a prettier play in the game of basketball than this? I don't think so. Here comes Michael Jordan. Rips it down. He's shooting 60% from deep. Oh, my goodness. Nobody stopped the ball. The D made that much too easy for him. Here is Porter. Pass to Drexler. 
Guarded by Jordan. A fadeaway. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. Talk about a difficult shot. The defender was breathing down his neck, so he faded away and lofted it over the top. Beautifully done. And Drexler picking him up. Michael to shoot. Jordan can't get it to go. So it's Portland now. It's a 10-point game. Shoots the three. Drexler with another miss. Here's Armstrong. And here's Jordan outside. The shot misses. And the Blazers the other way. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got 19 points. These clubs have been lighting up the scoreboard all game long. Jordan takes off, and Jordan slams it in. That's just poor defense, Kevin. Somebody's got to get back and defend the basket. Instead, they give up a rack-to-rack -rack finish. Pass to Drexler. Over Jordan, and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. He's done a really nice job of maintaining focus, staying sharp, and providing his team with offense. Puts up the tray, and the rebound goes to Kersey. He's not having much success here in the fourth quarter. He's struggling to hit his shots. He's got to settle down and make sure he takes good shots. And Trexler throws it down. The way this man can flush it is one of the reasons he's so much fun to watch. Well, does he ever show us anything less? He's so dependable. Always on top of his game. Drexler against Jordan. And Drexler picking him up. From downtown. And Jordan good for three. Kevin, that's just not good defense. You can't be giving players of his talent level looks like that. Come on now. Drexler outside. Over Jordan, but he stays with it. Robinson, that's good. That's unselfish team basketball right there, Kevin. Here's Jordan. Just over five minutes left to the fourth. Kept alive. Trailblazers trail by seven. Got a piece of it. Here's Drexler. Blocked. The Bulls leading by seven. Pass to Jordan. Drexler defending. Baseline jumper. The shot by Jordan, no good. And Portland with the ball. Earlier, they trailed by 17. Goes up. Drexler, that's good. Drexler's got 24 points. Here's Jordan. Drexler defending. Here's Ernest strikes again. Michael Jordan with the score. I think it's safe to say that that'll be the dunk of the night, Kevin. Well, who doesn't love to see that kind of finish? We all do. Here is Porter. With an assist this trip down, he'd have 10 for the game. Drexler outside. Off the mark with the three ball. And so here is Chicago. They lead by seven. Pass to Jordan. And there's the bucket good for two. He's doing it all for them right now on the offensive side. No matter what the defense has done, they haven't been able to find an answer to stop him. And he's had an answer for every defense he's seen. And here's Kersey. And Jordan with the rebound. The three. Can't get it to go. And the Blazers the other way. Here is Porter. He's covered by Armstrong. Here's Drexler. Takes it up. Drops. My goodness. It seems like he's got every point this quarter. That's an amazing job helping to cut into this lead. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. Mm. Here's Jordan. Right around three minutes left in the game. And here's Armstrong. It's Jordan on the wing. Puts the move on. And good as he lays it up and in. Here is Porter. 
And for him right now, an assist this trip would give him a double-double. Kersey with the ball. Goes up. And off the glass as he lays that one up and in. Effortless, soft layup. Nice play. Jordan against Drexel. Jordan. No good from Jordan. One of the ways where they've shown a definite edge, Kevin, has come on the glass today. Here's Porter. And a three. Here's Jordan. Left side, Jordan. Over Drexler. Jordan can't get it to go. Portland trailing here. It stays here. Scotty Pippins checked in for the Bulls. Jackson comes in for Armstrong. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. 147 after the fourth. Here is Porter. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. Great execution on the inbounds play. And they get the basket. Drexler against Jordan. Over Drexler. And again, no good by Chicago. Pass to Robinson. Cuts off the pass. Grant the pass to Jordan. Back to Grant. Now here's Jordan. Over Porter. And Jordan gets it to go. He's such a clutch shooter, Kevin. He just lives for the big shot. Now Porter. Drexler left side. Shoots over Pippen. And it's Drexler that time and the assist by Williams. After a subpar first half, I like the way he's been much more aggressive here in the second, finding a way to hit his shot and get more shots. And here's Jordan outside. That's good. He's absolutely killing it from outside. Now a timeout called by Portland. They trail by three. 55 seconds left in the game. Here's Drexler. And stolen by Jordan. You know, both teams, Kevin, are just... Oh! When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team. That's your only hope. Here is Porter. This is a crucial possession for him. A lot at stake here. Drexler outside. From downtown. Good D by Jordan. Deflected. The lob was a little misjudged, and he couldn't get control of it. And there's the intentional foul. Here's Jordan. on the first. Sinks the second, and that increases their lead to six. Here is Porter. 25 seconds left to the fourth. Here's Percy. Gets the bucket. That's a good look. Very nice look. Here's Jordan. And the intentional foul called as they try to prolong it here. They needed to take that foul to stop the clock. That clock is not their friend at this stage in the game. Sinks the first one, and that puts them up by five. Off on the second. 
The Blazers on offense. Earlier, they trailed by 17. Here's Porter. Hits the tray. He's got 18. Eight in this quarter alone. Kevin, that's what you expect from him. When the pressure's at its highest, with the game on the line, that's when he's at his best. That's exactly what they need to do to stretch out this game. Smart foul there. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And that'll do it, Kevin. Those last free throws were the icing on the cake. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're down by four. Three seconds left in the game. Clark, what are your thoughts? Well, they say it's not over till the fat lady sings, but she's sure warming up those vocal cords right now. Even quick points and an intentional foul would have a hard time saving them now. final and the Bulls take the first one at home Clark they did what they needed to do now get one more before going to Portland well with the series set up as it is 2-3-2 two, two is the format it's really helpful and important actually to win the first two at home and the Bulls are halfway there thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA basketball on 2k sports so for Doris Clark and the whole crew Kevin Harlan saying see you next time